We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Minneapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> it's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because MFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pot pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. away from that tackle and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down see if they can get something going here and it's first and ten that ball was almost intercepted second down and ten It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A fat fat, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Just some good old downhill. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. At this 
point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just... Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and two. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. down but here he's just making up ground yeah like the way the commission makes up news second down the size of bricks wiener hey sorry partner <laughs> if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit they're gone now with the vicious kill did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. down in a lot. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and long. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. He's hit the 30. It's a touchdown! Touchdown! I don't know if you're aware of this, but for every touchdown he scores, he drinks the blood of his enemies and donates $1,000 to a local children's hospital. What a player. And here comes the extra point attempt. When 
you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. That's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. First quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And that'll bring up third defense. Says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's on those power and three. Like a high cool. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Point with Mo oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after the. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. <laughs> Second down and inch. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and ten. Oh, you 
See that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Third down and six. The defenders work, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Beat by both bump. Stomp him into the ground, the dirty bump. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Second down and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, past the popcorn, Grim. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Huh? Huh? Speed. 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 
that hit didn't cripple him. It certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he's rushed down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and two. First and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. The quarterback just threw it. Oh, shit, sure. now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And that is caught for a first down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. Yep. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. with the brain scrambler. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and five. are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. That move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. Man. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> okay, nice and easy, like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just... The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And they stomp the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he held on to that one for a first down. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grab the coast. Why do we even come back for a bother? This is a waste of my time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? No, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. And coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Yeah, it's something in kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> This is a first, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Good 
run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex and lockup last night. Nearly ain't a good thing, Grim. Trust me. And another intercept. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And that player has four speed. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Okay, good. Man, I can't. Jim, hold on. Get on the gap. Get on the gap. Get on the Get on Second down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is. Oh, that was a big hit. It bricks up. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the Purple Mutant Eaters just made the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. left of the opposition and the fans are loving it there was only one way this game was going to end and that was in a forfeit that's not quite true grim the alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game oh, how about if you shut the hell up right now we go down to the field and listen to what the mvp has to say <laughs> Row with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...